Hi, President Rude. My name is Ariel Ross. Um, I am a former student at Marietta College. I attended there from 2008 until 2013 when I graduated. Um, I wanted to make this video instead of sending you an email because I figured that it would be a little bit easier for you to be able to multitask and still um, listen to what I had to say. Um, I hope this message finds you in good spirits and in good health. Um, so I won't take up too much of your time. I'll get right to it. Um, I will look down from time to time, so excuse me, I have like a list of notes here, so I want to make sure that I get everything covered completely. Um, so I'm not sure exactly if you know exactly who I am, but I do serve on the Merida College Alumni Association Board. Um, I want you to know that this video um, is not endorsed by them and in no way affiliated with the Merida College Association. Um, this is strictly me coming to you as a student. Um, or a former student, excuse me, um, and just as a, as a concerned um, student. All right, so uh, there has been a discussion amongst a few students um, and a couple of alumni, oh, sorry, alumni who uh, have brought this to my attention, and it's also something that I've been thinking about for a while as well. Um, we just felt that now was the appropriate time to address it, considering all of the um, world, event, world events that are going on now. So um, there has been talk of getting rid of uh, Putnam Pio, um, the actual mascot. So um, there are a lot of people who feel that Putnam Pio is not a good representation of the Marietta College student body. So I have a few key points that I'd like to go into with you. Um, so I'll try to keep them as brief as possible. All right, so uh, yesterday on June 4th, I took a poll on Instagram um, from students past and present, um, alumni, uh, faculty, staff, um, everyone was invited um, to do a poll um, to see if they felt that Putnam Pio was an appropriate mascot for, um, an appropriate mascot to represent the Marietta student body. Um, I left the poll up for all 24 hours um, I did uh, get the results probably around 10 o'clock, um, so there were probably people who were still voting after I had went to bed because I have to get up for work, um, but I just wanted to share those with you. Um, so the poll had over 700 plus views, uh, which is really good. Uh, 290 votes, uh, 200 pe 291 people voted for yes. They think that Putnam Pio is not a good representation of the school and that they would like him to be removed. Um, 33 people voted for no. So actually, technically it would be 30 because three people let me know that they accidentally voted no. Um, so we'll keep, keep that number at 30. And then some people also voted two times. They voted yes and no. So it kind of skewed the results just a teeny bit, but I just wanted to be very transparent about that and very honest. Um, so there's that. Um, so we'll get into like the history. So a lot of people did not know the history of Rufus Putnam, who Pio Putnam, I mean, yeah, Putnam Pio is uh, based off of or themed after. Um, I know that the Putnams do have a large historical mark in Marietta. Um, and in no way are we trying to take away from that. Um, I know that David Putnam uh, was an uh, assistant on the Underground Railroad and he was, um, at one point, he did hide slaves in his house um, on the Underground Railroad. So our issue is that Rufus Putnam, um, being in the military and being a person all about Western expansion, um, definitely didn't do some really nice things to our Native American sisters and brothers. And uh, he was more concerned about getting that land. Um, we know that Marietta is the first establishment in Ohio. Um, and I feel, and myself as well as other students feel, that um, he's just not a good representation of what we think of when we think of pioneers. Um, I think that he, um, well, having him represent our college also, especially in this light, in this day and age, just isn't really appropriate. Um, so I did want to let you know that I did do some research on this and that we are very aware of his mark on history in Marietta. Um, so in no way are we trying to eliminate the word pioneer from the branding of Marietta College. Um, 
I remember when I graduated at commencement, our speaker talked about pioneers and perseverance and persistence and how that word definitely stuck out to him. Um, I think that that word being a pioneer is very important, especially to the Merida College body. Um, we, like I said, in no way are trying to get rid of that in the branding. We just don't think that Putnam Pyle himself should be the face of the pioneer, if that makes sense. Um, we think that it is very important to showcase pioneers of different races, different ethnicities, different backgrounds. Um, like I said, I think it's possible that you can have pioneers in any group, in any marginalized group, in any mainstream group. Um, it's it, it's just that when you have one type of person, and I think that the type of pioneer that you know Putnam Pio represents is is negative. It's not a very positive pioneer. And I don't think that Marietta wants that type of, um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel as though Marietta um, needs to continue having that type of relationship um, with that particular um, connotation of pioneer. Which brings me to my next point. All right, so in the poll, I asked uh, students to give alternative examples of what they think um, our future mascot should potentially be. So here are a couple. Um, a lot of people voted for animals. They think that an animal would be a great uh, mascot as a lot of schools have that. Um, a lot of people also said that they think squirrels would probably be really good. I mean, we all know that Marietta has a ton of squirrels on campus and they're always scurrying around across the mall. So I thought that was really unique and pretty awesome. Um, I'm not sure if any other school has a large squirrel population like we do, but I thought that was a really good idea. Uh, the stern wheelers, and someone said tugboat size, and I think that's probably just because we're, we're a smaller school, which I thought was great. Um, and then maybe some sort of symbol, Some uh, a lot of other students suggested, like maybe an anchor or um, something like that, or something related to water since we are on um, the river. Um, so, and this is getting kind of long, so I'm going to wrap it up for you. Um, I totally understand, and so does a majority of the student body, that this is uncomfortable for a lot of people to talk about. I think that in this, in the past two weeks that we've had to sit down and talk about a lot of uncomfortable things, um, and this is just one of the things to add to the list. Uh, I also know that this is going to be a major inconvenience, probably for our PR team at Marietta, but I don't apologize for that, and a majority of the student body does not apologize for that either. Um, we would like to have a mascot that represents inclusiveness and a mascot that represents all of the student body. Um, so with that being said, we think that is absolutely necessary for Putnam Pio to kind of retire. So uh, if you would like to contact me back, um, I have an email address. It's going to be arielross08 at gmail.com. A-R-I-E-L-R-O-S-S-08 -S at gmail.com. Also, uh, if you would like to see what I posted on Instagram, the whole story, um, the poll results and everything, all the other suggestions for um, the future mascot, uh, that's on, going to be on my Instagram. My Instagram is private. Uh, it's going to be Ariel Michelle 4 so A-R, no, A-E-R-I-A-L, R-O-S-S. -S. Um, no, I'm sorry. I messed that all up. Okay, go back. It's going to be A-E-R-I-A-L, Michelle, M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, and then the number four. That's my Instagram. Um, so uh, just go ahead and add me on there. I will uh, add you back. And then if you look in my highlights um, in the middle of my Instagram page, you can click on it and see all of the feedback that people, um, students had uh, responded and um you know, uh, all of the suggestions for the mascot as well as student feedback, uh, the good and the bad. So um, in order to maintain the integrity of the poll, I did not pick a side. I did. I just simply asked everyone to give their opinion about what they wanted to see happen with this situation. Um, so also another thing, I know that there are people who would like to maybe write a story about this or like do some type of like news thing. So I 
politely ask them not to do that yet. Um, I don't want to bring any negative light to Merida College, especially with the recent events and everything going on in the news media. Um, I want to give the college time to respond, to process this, to think about it. Um, I know that it is definitely a big change. Um, but like I said, I definitely think it's something that needs to happen. Uh, so if you um, don't get back to me right away, I totally understand. Um, I'm not going to give you a deadline or you know what I would expect it to be in uh, a timely fashion so uh, with that being said I hope that you have an amazing rest of your week or weekend and um, we look forward the student body looks forward to hearing from you and um, getting started on this thank you